Yeah. So something interesting is uh, really happening in Africa today. You know, we have many visitors coming to Africa, appreciating Africa, cherishing Africa. But the only person who is not appreciating Africa and cherishing Africa is the African. Ironically, people find that Africa is a very interesting place. People find opportunities in Africa. But Africans don't see it that way. They don't see it that way. So there's this proverb, uh, an English proverb actually. It says that you can never see a forest for a tree. We can never see that. Particularly, the trees are what makes up the forests. The forests, you know. Now, Africans really don't love Africa. And I can provide many proofs. For instance, here in Kenya, we have the Green Card Lottery. Uh, the USA, uh, is uh, Kenya is one of the countries that the USA has let uh, itself to apply for the green card. I'm always surprised by the other time people um, applied for green card. 30 million Kenyans applied for green card just to leave Kenya and go all the way to USA. Yes, they did that. 30 million Kenyans, you understand? And also in some other West African countries, we've had many people leaving those countries, uh, going all the way to Mediterranean through Libya. And through this journey, many Africans have lost their lives. Many Africans have been uh, trapped with uh, some of those Arabs and turned into slaves. Yes, today we still have slave owners in those North African countries. Those North African countries are particularly uh, preoccupied by the Arabs. You understand? So it tells you Africans don't really appreciate being Africans, but someone else comes here and appreciate being Africans. And one of these someones is the Indians. Yes, the Indians. Now, particularly in this video, we find that Indians always carry their gods and we have like 33 million indian gods 33 million indian gods yes that is the number of gods indians have the indians who practice hinduism let me put it in the right context because we have some indians who practice christianity buddhism i'm speaking of the indians who practice hinduism the oldest religion in this world is hinduism the oldest, the oldest, one of the oldest it's, is Hinduism. You understand? From, from Hinduism is where Buddhism branches, is where Sikhism branches, is where those Western, those Eastern um, religions uh, stems out from Hinduism. And now the Indians have introduced Hinduism to Africa and the Africans have really taken it upon it. They have really gone for hinduism and now i'm surprised by africans changing their african names worshiping 33 million indian gods africans have left the one true god and they're now worshiping the 33 million gods i'm surprised i'm so much surprised if there's somebody who is always ready to let go for what they have and pick what someone else's got is the African. The African is always, always ready to let go what they have and take what someone else have. It's like we don't appreciate what we have. We appreciate what someone else has. And when it comes to part of religion, it's a life and death matter. Yes. Because particularly I myself, I believe in the concept of afterlife. It's not a concept. It's a real thing. It's not a concept. It's a real thing. Now, for Africans, uh, letting go of the one true God, for Africans, letting go of their customs, letting go of their names, because once you adapt Hinduism, you change your name. You take an Indian name. Yes, and this has happened in Ghana. It has really happened in Ghana, you know. Why? I don't know. I don't know what we can really do to help save what's left of Africa. Believe it or not, periodically new crazy religious movements spring up such as Copimism, an internet religion, the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, 
or Pastafarianism or Tarasim, a trans religion that believes death is optional and that God is technological. Hinduism is the world's third largest religion behind Christianity and Islam, with over 1.2 billion followers or 16% of the total global population, known as Hindus, wrapped in shiny bright clothes. Idols of Hindu gods and goddesses smile benevolently on thousands of worshippers during Mahashivratri, an ancient annual religious tradition. All this happens at an elevated platform of about 1 1,800 feet above sea level on a volcanic crater lake. There's nothing extraordinary about this scene, except that this is not India. This is a tiny island nation named Mauritius, found on the east coast of Africa, where apparently the majority of people worship Hindu gods. Why Africans are turning into Hindus Ever wondered why Africa has embarked upon the realm of Hinduism? Why is Africa embracing Hinduism? In Ghana, vibrant Indian-style weddings have become a cherished tradition, while in Kenya, worship of Hindu deities is a thriving practice. And shortly after that is when I came in contact with Bhagavad Gita and Swami A.C. Bhaktivedanta, Swami Prabhupada, my guru, and that sealed the deal, as you might say. Once I heard Bhagavad Gita, once I heard the philosophy from Bhagavad Gita, everything changed. So I started coming to the Atlanta Hare Krishna Temple in 1972. All right, so I've just woken up about an hour ago, decided to check my phone and noticed that my video yesterday went somewhat viral. I don't know. I was scrolling through the comments and a lot of people are like, you're Indian. I thought you were fully black. What the fudge? So I guess this is like an explanation video because a lot of people, even though I've said before what I am, still don't know. So my mom is fully Ghanaian uh, and my dad is Indian, which gives me the weird mix of Ghanaian and Indian. So no, I'm not fully black. <laughs> I'm also not fully Indian. I'm pretty much you know, just split down the middle. I mean, it's kind of weird because on my dad's side, it's he's Indian, but he's not fully Indian. I'm pretty sure my grandparents had a mix of like Portuguese and Spanish and French between them, but that's just complicated. So we just say Ghanaian and Indian because it just makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Amazing culture. It's my first time. And I love it's your first time. And I love it. You know, you know, for me already, I believe in tradition. Mm. So for me, witnessing this is like a pleasure to me. Yes, yeah, so I love it. Everything here is amazing. ये हिंदू मॉनेस्ट्री घाना में सारे धर्म के लोगों के लिए खुली है इसके साथ ही पड़ोस के देशों में भी हिंदू मॉनेस्ट्री की ब्रांच को स्टैब्लिश किया गया है नमस्ते नमस्ते भाई कैसे हो मैं ठीक हूँ आप कैसे आप अफ्रीकन हिंदू जी आपकी पूरी फैमिली है सब अफ्रीकन हिंदू जी आप यहाँ कब कब आते हैं मींस वंस अ वीक वंस अ मंथ सॉरी हम थिंग इन हिंदी ओह हो यू अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी कोई बात नहीं भाई ओह आप यू अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी हाँ हिंदी समझते हैं हिंदी समझते हैं अरे आप तो बोल ले रहे हैं आप यहाँ कब आते हैं हाउ यू ऑफन डू यू कम य Ah. Okay. We have other branches as well. If, if you go to Tema. Ah. Oh, you yes. have other branches yes. of this monastery in Ghana. Yes. If you go to Cape Coast. Uh -huh. If you go to Kumasi. Kumasi, Cape Coast. Tema. Tema. And Mampo. Oh, many places there are branches of Hindu monastery. Also in neighboring country. Neighboring Togo. country in Togo. Togo. Yeah. Yeah. In Togo, Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah. Every coast. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. every coast also in Abidjan. Ah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know where. बहुत अच्छा, बहुत अच्छा। मैं जब पूछते भाई, जी, आप कौन? मेरा नाम है तोर वशु। अच्छा, जी। इंडिया, which state? दिल्ली के पास, near New Delhi। अरे यार, दिल्ली जयपुर, close। अच्छा, close हाँ यार। आप गए हैं इंडिया? हाँ। इंडिया गए हैं आप? ओके। इंडिया बहुत अच्छा। बहुत अच्छा। बहुत, 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 बहुत अच्छा। आपने हिंदी कैसे सीखा? मैं एक बार फर्स्ट मैं हिंदी थोड़ा थोड़ा से बट नाउ मैं हिंदी पूरा से पूरा कैसे सीखा कहाँ सीखा ओ आई थिंक फ्रॉम जयपुर फ्रॉम जयपुर या इंडियन फ्रेंड फ्रॉम जयपुर यस ओ इस रेनिंग ओ भाई अचानक से बारिश होने लगी सब अंदर आ रहे हैं ये देखो 
काफी तेज बारिश हो रही है बाहर अब यहाँ वेट करना पड़ेगा I call it blessing. Blessing. Yeah. Because it's my first time here and it's raining, so it's a blessing to me. अच्छा ये गानान जी का health foundation भी है मेरे को ये नहीं पता अभी आगे पता चला आपको यहाँ पे कैसा feel होता कैसा लगता है? I'm a Hindu. I was born into it. You are Hindu. Yeah. My birth you are Hindu. Okay. Your family before they were also Hindu. Yeah. Adopted the Hinduism. Yeah. And you are by birth Hindu. Yeah. Here I am really amazed. Meri ko bilkul bhi idea nahi tha ki yahan pe aisa kuch hoga. Ya honge kuch log honge puja ho raha hoga. But itni zyada log yahan pe honge zyada population hogi. Aap zyada log honge. Bilkul bhi idea nahi tha. Really shocked here. Bahut saare log hai yahan pe. Ha ha. Bahut 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 people. Ha bahut people. Maine socha nahi tha. Ha ha. You know, in fact, being a Hindu. It means love. We, we always preach love, and Hinduism is all about love. Okay. You love God and you love people. Love people as well as you love your God. Here, I mean the monastery. They ask other people to convert to Hinduism, or people themselves convert to Hinduism. No, they adopt. Adopt themselves, ah? Nobody asks here to to adopt Hinduism. Ah. Okay. We just go about preach, uh -huh. but. We don't force people to. Don't come. force. Never ask. They yeah. do it. They adopt themselves. Yeah. Okay. From how many years your family is Hindu? Well, for that, but I can't tell. You because, can't tell, ah. Uh, yeah. Because you don't know exactly, ah. Huh? Yeah. Maybe from many years. Because Hinduism came here in 1970s. 1970s. Yeah. 1970s. Yeah. Through Swami Ghanandan. Yeah. Swami Ghanandan. Yeah. Look at this photo. Hai. जयपुरुनिवर्सिटी BSc BSc Information Technology Information Technology BSc in IT Okay How many years you lived in India 4 years 4 years only for study I have been to other places as well not only Jaipur Okay okay I had I got the opportunity to travel to let's say majority of the states Oh in, in India So you learned Hindi in India while yeah. staying for 4 years All my friends are Indian Indian all my friends okay. even my Indian girlfriend Indian girlfriend uh, Are you married? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Actually, she wanted me to marry her, but okay. Unfortunately, my time was up, so okay. I had to run away. I know it's Manali, uh -huh. um, Jammu and Kashmir, uh -huh. um, Mumbai, uh -huh. Bangalore, Kerala, Delhi. Delhi. Yeah, Delhi. Agra. Agra. Hotel. Uh, Noida. Noida. Uh, Chandigarh. Uh -huh. Chittorgarh. Chittorgarh. So, did you get the scholarship? Uh, let's say half scholarship. You had a scholarship. Half. Half scholarship. You paid half fees and you got half scholarship. Half ka India me experience kaise tha char saal tak? Ha. Half experience kaise tha India me? The only problem is the people. You know, sorry to say this, but you and I know that oh. racism, racism. Yes, yeah. For black people. Yes. Sorry to say this, yeah, but this should never happen. Yes, I'm really I, sorry for that. I pray that one day uh, things will change. But I'm sure not from everyone. Oh yes, some fraction yes, of oh, people. Yes. yes, yes, for that one, that's true. Uh, not everybody. One person might be like that. Yeah, but yeah. that doesn't mean that everybody is like that. Right, absolutely right. Yeah, so it's normal. But I'm sure I really enjoy the place. Enjoy it, huh? Trust me, India is. Come back to our place. So how do you see Ghana? Ghana very good. People people very good. Very friendly. Acha na? Yeah, bahut acha. Bahut bahut acha. Ha. Mera mamma se. Acha, aap aapka mamma kahan ja rahe hain? Namaste. Namaste. Acha hai beta. Theek hai? Ji. Ji, okay. Is kon temple aap gaye hain? Bahut acha. Ab bahut acha hai. Ha. Bahut acha. So, something is really disturbing me. the rate at which africans are forsaking africanism and adopting 
other things outside Africa, Eastern, Western, whichever, but at the expense of throwing away what identifies to be Africans, I'm surprised. The person who is really, really meeting a lot of racial discrimination in this world, no matter which part of the world they are in, is Africans. Africans, we suffer a lot in any part of the world. And so by the time you realize that you are quick to throw what is yours and take what is someone else's, while that person cannot throw what is theirs to accept what is yours, but you are ready to do that, tells a lot about us. It's kind of PTSS, post-traumatic, uh, PTSCS, post-traumatic colonialism syndrome. We've been so much brainwashed over the years of colonialism. We've learned that there's nothing good that comes with Africanism. Nah, it's false, guys. It's false. Whoever believes like that, you're wrong, man. You're very wrong. It's high time Africans realize we are precious. Now, this video tries to explain how much Hinduism is spreading within Africans. The same, same Africans are complaining that, Af that Indians are racist towards other Africans. Tell me, tell me, if you are complaining that they are this and that, why are you taking what is theirs? I think if somebody is not good to you, you also leave what is theirs. You don't take what is theirs, so you don't have anything in common. Because when we continue at this rate, whatever distinguishes Africans from the other races, or from the other continents, or from the other people, will cease to exist. Because we are quickly wiping Africanism and adopting those Western cultures. Come on, ask yourself, would an Indian, would an African go to India and bring, let's say voodoo. Voodoo is something that stems from Africa. I don't recommend voodoo, but let's say an African takes voodoo because we've seen voodoo happening in Benin. There's always some culture, some seasons where we have these things, this thing like a giant broom dancing and floating on the air. What if an African takes it to India? Will the Indians quickly let go of their 33 million gods and uh, start worshipping this, this broom? Will they do that? I personally don't think Indians would do that. It's not in them to, do, to let go what they have, you know? Remember, even in the Bible, there is a disciple that was called Jude. Jude was killed in India. He was beaten up by Indians and he was killed. Yes, because he took Christianity. These are people who will not let go of their gods just to take yours. But Africans are letting go of their own traditions to adopt something from another tradition. Uh, Africans, you are failing me, man. This is not right. This, this is not really good. It's not right. It's not right. Let's appreciate us. Let's practice what is us. You understand? The problem is that it will, does, it will not end with these specific people. It will be spreading like Ebola. It will be spreading and spreading and diffusing through other African countries. Today is Ghana. Tomorrow will be Nigeria. You understand? The history of how Indians came to Kenya, to the whole of Africa, particularly East Africa, is something that I've made and I've discussed many times on this channel. The Indians mostly, they came to work for the railway lines because India was also a British colony. So the British went to provide cheaper labor to Africa. Some, when the British left, decided to leave and go to India. Some took British passports and decided to go to England. Some remained. These who remained brought their gods with them. Yes. And even today, if you go to an Indian shop, you'll find those, uh, those gods. They'll be worshipping those gods. Yes, but it's their problem. That's them. My problem here is why is an African letting go of their culture and taking this while the vice versa is not possible? It's not possible for those people to practice voodoo. It's not. It's not. Even Christianity, mm -mm, it's not. So this is a lesson Africans should learn and Africans should appreciate what we got 
and what God blessed us with. Africa is very rich. Africa has everything it needs. We don't need other people to fill. We're already full. Yeah. So let's appreciate who we are Africans. That's all for today, guys. If you enjoy my videos, kindly subscribe to the channel. I'll so much appreciate.